I'm getting this question so often, so I thought I'd make a quick video addressing it for you. The question is, how much should I spend on Facebook ads for my print on demand t-shirt? Now, whilst I absolutely love getting comments from every single one of you, this question has been uh, coming up quite, um, this question has been coming up quite a lot recently, so I thought I should just make a video because Clearly a lot of people are confused by it and this could help quite a few of you. So I'm going to, well, first I'm going to smash out the myth of the, that there is a certain amount of money you should be spending. And I'm going to properly explain to you how budgeting works for print on demand because it's not as straightforward as you might think. And if you stay till the end of this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how much I spent on advertising to get my $73,663 that I currently have made on print on demand. I'm going to tell you the exact number of what I spent to get that. So that's gonna be right at the end of this video. I don't skip right to the end now, just keep watching. It's not gonna be long, I'm gonna get right to the point and it's going to be very, very valuable information. So before I quickly dive in and tell you all about this topic, I just want to say, my name is Shimmy Morris. So welcome if you are new here. If you are not new here, then thank you for coming back and watching another video. I create videos about business, print on demand, Amazon, Facebook, Teespring, all of that kind of stuff, affiliate marketing, you know, you name it, anything business, anything money related online, I create videos is about I'm very close to getting 10,000 subscribers right now and I've actually decided that I'm going to make a special 10,000 subscriber video and I've let you my subscribers actually decide what that video is going to be which you have I think I've got like 120 votes for Facebook advertising and print on demand which I'm going to make a proper good video on that topic but in the meantime that is who I am if you are interested and like my videos then please click that subscribe button and if you like this video then hit the the, the Blah, blah, blah. hit the like button and let's just get right into it. How much should you be spending on Facebook advertising? Well, firstly, this is an impossible question to answer. So wait, 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 don't leave the video because I've said that. But the truth is it is actually an impossible question to answer because the amount you spend on advertising largely depends on the scenario and of the t-shirt and what's actually happening. So that's what I'm gonna try and explain to you with two scenarios, scenario A and scenario B, okay? Scenario A is this. You have a t-shirt design and you create an ad on Facebook. How much should you spend? Well, to test out a design, I recommend spending around $50. If after day one, you have spent $50 and you have zero sales, then I would suggest moving on, trying a brand new shirt, maybe the same audience or a different audience on Facebook, but moving on basically, and not to spend more money on it, right? You spent $50, you haven't got a single sale, count your losses and move on. Don't fall in love with your designs, okay? That's scenario A. Now let's say scenario A, it takes you three shirts before you get a successful one. Okay, your fourth shirt is your successful one. If you stick to this budget, you would have spent $150 because it's $50 per design to test them out. Remember, this is just testing. And then, yeah, three of them failed, that's $150. And then the fourth design has worked. This is where we're gonna talk about this in scenario B. In scenario B, you have a shirt and you do what you did in scenario A, you run a test with $50, okay? You see if it gets any sales. And let's say because it's scenario B, you get five sales after the first day. So you spent $50 and you've got five sales, okay? Now we're going to go off the basis that majority of the time you're getting about $10 per per sale, right? You're getting net $10 because that's typically what people seem to make when it comes to selling t-shirts. If you're selling hoodies, you'll make a bit more. If you're selling socks, you make a bit less. So whatever, we're gonna say $10, okay? So you spent $50 now testing and you've got five sales. Well, this is brilliant. What do you do? Well, now I would run that ad again for another day. And let's say you run it for another day and you get eight sales the next day. So you're now at a total of 13 sales very fast maths, right? You make eight sales the next day and now you're starting to realize, okay, this could be a winning design. It's time to ramp things up. So you have a few different options what you could be doing. Option one, remember we're still in scenario B here, don't wanna confuse anyone, but option one is you can continue running that $50 ad every single day and just 
get a few trickle in sales every single day. Option two is now that you know you have a successful design, you can start running more ads, you can start running retargeting ads, you can start running different types of ads like conversion ads, PPE ads, click to website ads, video ads. You can run a whole different array of ads. Now, again, this video isn't talking about that. I'm going to make a proper Facebook advertising video when I hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to see that, then hit that subscribe button because that is the only way that that video is going to get made. But that is basically scenario B, right? Scenario B is you are actually making some money. So now the question arises, how much should you spend on this t-shirt in scenario B? Well, the truth of the matter is you should spend money until it's not really making you money. And let me explain that. So let's say on day whatever, you've spent $100 and you've, sorry, you've spent $500 and you've made 100 sales. That means you're in profit now of $500 because you spent 500, you've made 1,000, so you're in profit of 500, right? And let's say this is day 10, right? Because you're spending $50 a day. So that kind of makes sense, right? Now day 11, let's say you get no sales. Right, you make no, you spend fifty dollars, but you, you make no sales, or you spend maybe a hundred dollars because you've upped your budget, and you make no sales. So it's a bit confusing. So what do you do? Well, well, I would leave that. Just maybe it was a glitch in the matrix. But what happens on day twelve? Day twelve, do you make any sales on day twelve, or do you also not make any sales on day twelve? If day twelve you also don't make any sales, and now you're eating into your profit and you're not actually making any money back, stop the ad. Something's gone wrong. Either the trend is over and your design seems to have been a one hit wonder and you've got to move on from it or two something you, you've exhausted your audience list and you've got to move on because it's just cycling through the same people something's gone wrong so you've got to evaluate so you've got to evaluate no evaluate i don't know the word you've got to look at what's gone wrong okay and see what's actually happened there so once you've been able to determine what the problem was, sometimes it might be that you just have to stop and move on to another design, which is absolutely fine. You'll pocket your profit, which is probably about $400 at this point, four $500, and you'll move on to the next design with an extra 500 bucks in your pocket, okay? That is scenario B, and that is how you know when to stop advertising. In terms of scenario B as well, if you are getting sales, you might want to scale up, which means adding more ads, adding more budget, spending more money, okay? Now, if you ask me how much should I spend, like I said, there isn't really an answer. If your shirt is doing well, keep spending and keep spending more until it's not doing that well anymore, and then stop and move on. Okay, so I can't say you're gonna to have to spend 100 or 200 or 500 dollars. There have been ads where I have spent thousands of dollars, and there have been ads where I have spent 50, 60, 70 dollars. It completely depends on how your, your print on demand product is doing. Okay, it all depends on that. That is pretty much budget when it comes to selling a t shirt. There are no rules, there is no budget. You have to do what you need to do depending on how well your product is doing. And if you're looking at me and you're thinking, oh, you haven't answered my question, I still don't know the budget. The answer to your question is there is no budget. The budget depends on how many sales you're getting. If you're not getting any sales, stop the ad. You shouldn't spend any more on it. If the product is getting sales, put more ads into it. Test out different things, get more sales until it's not getting sales then bail out, move on. It's really, really that simple. And I hope that made sense. Let me know in the comments down below if that answered a few of your questions or a few of your queries, uh, if that made sense. If not, then I, again, also let me know in the comments down below, but I don't really know how I can simplify that in any other way, really. And like I said, as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will be making a full in-depth Facebook advertising walkthrough combined with print on demand or Teespring. I'm not quite sure what platform I'm gonna use, but probably Teespring because that is my most used platform. It's my favorite platform. So definitely hit that subscribe button so I can make that video. And like I promised, I said I would tell you how much I spent on my ads. So let me just look on my computer because I'm gonna be honest, I don't know it off by heart, but I spent $20,547.56 on 74,802 clicks, right? That's at 27 cents per click, right? So $20,547, I'm not gonna include the pence, right? And with that, I was able to sell, let's have a look at my current dashboard on Teespring, because like I said, Teespring is my main one that I have used and that I used to use. I have made a total of slow internet 
of $73,319. I don't know the number I said at the beginning of this video, but this is the right number because I'm looking at it. So $73,319 minus 20,000. Does anyone remember the number? Because I don't. 20,547. That means that previous video that I made on how much I, on how much I did doing Teespring, I, I made a total net profit of $52,772. I hope that answers a lot of your questions. If you ever wondered how much I made from, from that after ads, I probably should have been a bit more on, honest and open with you. I'm very sorry that I wasn't back then. Um, I didn't realize so many people would be interested in the net over the gross, but there is the net. That is the answer. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you had any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in, well, the next video.